All right, what's going on everyone? It's Josh here from Crypto Busy, and today we're going to be looking at Tezos or XTZ. And this is a coin that has been on my radar for a long time now. And I'm actually showing you the current statistics of the last year. So we've had we've actually gone up 120% in gains. So just over double your money if you invested a year ago. And uh, currently the price is sitting at $3.26. Now this is a price prediction video and you know we're not big fans of price prediction videos in general because uh, we don't personally like just throwing a number out because a lot of the time it's baseless and you know a lot of people will say it's all speculative which it is and no one can ever know which is completely true so before I go into all of this I want you guys to remember that this is all just my own opinion everything is speculative I could be completely wrong please don't make any investment decisions based purely on what I'm saying however I'm going to do my best to present a case, tell you what I think could happen, and why. So, let's get into it. If you do like this kind of content, we do videos every single day, please subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to us, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. So, as I said, Tezos, $3.26 right now. Market cap is currently at $2.33 billion. And uh, by the title, you can already see what price I think could potentially happen by the end of 2020. Now, of course, that would take a lot, and $10 is the price I'm referring to, of course. And um, that would take a lot considering it's $3.26 right now. It would be a 3x basically. And that would put the market cap around 7 billion, which is doable in my opinion. And uh, whether it will happen or not by the end of 2020, I'm not entirely sure. Obviously, no one is. However, my case and reason for it is as follows. So you can see the Galaxy score right now is 69 out of 100, right? And that's very good. That means there's a lot of good stuff going fundamentally in Tezos's direction. The all rank is currently 6 out of 1,815, which again is very, very good. A lot of people are obviously talking about it. Now let's take a look at some social metrics. A lot of people think social metrics don't actually matter that much, but I would definitely like to disagree because I think social metrics actually play a huge, huge part. So if we take a look at the social volume first, so as you can see in the social engagement, there's been a big uptick recently. So a lot of people are interested and that is also reflected in the price. We see a 33% gain just this month alone. A lot of people are getting on board with Tezos and they're realizing its potential. And we've been saying this for a while on the channel. We made videos months and months ago talking about why Tezos is one of the best investments you could actually make in 2020. And we'll have a look a bit into in depth into what Tezos is and there's actually this fantastic article I found from uh, blockgeeks.com I think and uh, as you can see it's what is Tezos the most updated deep dive and it's very very good if you guys want to read this it's just blockgeeks.com you could type in what is Tezos so Tezos burst into the crypto space by collecting 232 million dollars in their record-breaking ICO so for those of you who didn't know they did have an ICO and it was very very successful to say the least and just quick, I'd let you guys know if you don't know already, we have a VIP coin calls group, which is essentially a signal service. However, I don't really like the term signals as these aren't necessarily short term trades. These are weekly and monthly trades. Essentially, if you pay $25 a month, you'll get access to our group where we provide multiple trading setups every single week, as well as this overarching monthly setups, which we actually released a couple days ago. And uh, on top of that, we buy weekly webinars, which we're actually doing one today. So we have however many people turn up and they can ask us questions live and we'll answer them. They're about an hour long every two weeks. So if you guys want access to all of that, $25 a month, go over to patreon.com slash crypto busy. There'll be a link in the description and in the comments and uh, join that. And we hope to see you over there. So since their ICO, their launch date has been, been constantly delayed be because of behind the scenes drama and other conflicts. So Tezos officially launched in September 2018, and now is a good time as any to look into this exciting project. I agree. I think now is a good time. You guys are not late. Don't worry. I think whilst you could have got it in earlier, by no means are you late to the party. We are still just getting started. So a lot of people think Tezos is going to become the new Ethereum, that type of thing. So we could see Tezos at that number two spot potentially in the future. Now, it's up to you whether you want to believe that it could overtake that kind of level or not. But if that was to happen, for example, and it did get to, I think Ethereum's all-time high market cap was around 50 billion. So if it got to that kind of market cap, we could see a 25x on the price, which would put Tezos at $75. But do I think that's going to happen in 2020? I don't. I think that might happen eventually. Maybe we could see that in five years. But I think let's look towards $10 for the end of 2020. I think that is an achievable target especially if there is a nice bull run happening. And right now we're obviously in a bit of an alt season. We see altcoins flying up percentages every single day. And Tezos 
has definitely been part of that. So what is Tezos exactly? What does it do? What, what does it bring to the table? So according to the Tezos website, Tezos is a new decentralized blockchain that governs itself by establishing a true digital commonwealth. Okay, so that is how they describe themselves. But essentially a breakdown on that, as Block Geek says, is DZ is a blockchain network linked to a digital token, which is called a Tez or a Tezzy. So Tezos is not based on the mining of Tez. Instead, the token holders actually receive a reward for taking part in the proof of stake consensus mechanism. As we know, proof of stake staking is a very big part of cryptocurrency nowadays because people just love the idea of passive investing and passive income and i think it's really really good that so many coins offer that now and it really gives an incentive for people to actually hold these things long term rather than just trade them and flip them to make quick money so a commonwealth is a group that chooses to be linked together because of their shared goals or interests so the main aim of tezos is to actually make their token holders work together to make decisions that will improve their protocol over time the native Tezos token is XTZ, as we've said. So there are tons of different features that make it new, unique. I'm not going to cover all of them in this video. This isn't really supposed to be a deep dive into Tezos. We will, we, we've done one of them before. We'll probably do another one in the future, but this is more just a price prediction video. So a brief history of what is Tezos, right? So this is the history here. Again, I'm not going to go over that because it's not exactly relevant to the price prediction right now. However, I do implore you guys to check it out because it is very interesting and I do encourage everyone to know a lot about a coin that they invest in. So just to go over proof of stake for those of you that don't know. So proof of stake essentially is uh, is where the validators will have to lock up some of their coins as stake. So you might have to commit to holding a certain amount of coins for a certain period of time, for example. So I know uh, for those of you that are familiar with Crypto.com, for example, you can stake a certain amount of Crypto.com tokens on their platform and you have to do that for like six months at a time, for example. So it's that type of thing. So after that, you'll start, they'll start validating the blocks, meaning when they discover a block that they think could be added to the chain, they'll validate it by placing a bet on it. So if the block gets appended, the validators will get a reward proportionate to their bets. So the more you stake, the more you earn. So there's tons of things here, guys. I really, as I said, I really do recommend this article. It's really, really good and really, really interesting. And the more you know about Tezos, definitely the better. But Tezos is a really, really cool project, all right? It's one of those that I think is just always going to be around. And I think they've got a great team behind it. And if you want to check out, I think Tom did a video on it a while ago. You can check that out. I'll probably leave a link to it somewhere on screen. But yeah, it's one of those projects I think has got so much behind it, so much potential, and it's already, and we already see it kind of coming into fruition already. We see the price going up, we see people getting behind it, we see more liquidity every day, and that's why I do think Tezos could start going to $5, $6, and beyond, potentially even $10 by the end of 2020. Now, let's be honest, $10 is a little, little bit far-fetched, however, I do think it's good to kind of set these goals because this is cryptocurrency. This is where volatility lives pretty much. Like we see cryptocurrencies just booming every single day. And if we were here to make two, 3% gains, we'd be better off in the stock market or some other market. We're here to make these big gains, right? And cryptocurrency allows us to do that. And I think $10 for Tezos by the end of this year is achievable. And uh, let's fingers crossed, see if we can see it. Now let's go over to token metrics, by the way. If you do want to get a plan on token metric, you can use the link down below and get 10% off. And uh, basically what it does is it gives you technical analysis, price predictions for every single coin. But Tezos here, as you can see, the price analysis is bullish right now. So we can see most indicators are bullish or very bullish. So that's very good to see. It means again, people are looking at Tezos going up in the near future as well. So maybe it might be good time to get in. Again, not financial advice. And uh, furthermore, I thought I'd look at some other price predictions from analysts to see how they kind of compare. So a lot of these were probably made quite a while ago. So that's why they seem like they are quite a bit behind. So you can see here, Wallet Investor is actually bearish and says that Tezos will go to $1.40 by the end of 2020. I don't see that happening at all. That's literally less than half the price um, digital coin price expects two dollars oh one again this is before tezos was actually this price so uh, i don't expect that to happen these are all pretty much outdated so we can't really take them at face value however this one actually predicts a nine dollars for 2025 and i actually think that could happen in 2020 so we're obviously way ahead of all these people and we can see 
Tezos has kind of had that accelerated growth that we really needed to see. But anyway, guys, that's kind of what I'm saying about... Anyway, guys, that's what I'm saying about Tezos. If you agree, let me know down in the comments. If you disagree, you can also let me know. Uh, do you like Tezos? Do you not like Tezos? Let us know down below. And uh, let us know what your price prediction is for it. If you did enjoy this kind of content, please subscribe. We do videos every single day. And leave a like on the video. It really helps us out. And uh, check out our VIP coin calls group as well. Hope to see you guys over there. All right, have a good day, guys. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.